yeah so avinash you yeah. start your presentation yeah so yeah as as lovsa said uh, it's a journey and what we uh, come through like it beginning as a designers we started with idea and it will be hit in the market but uh, you know as we go and then we we came across you know entrepreneurship that completely change our perception about entrepreneurship and designing as well so let's see uh, from the beginning uh, this was a basic idea we had in our mind that is like there is a box type solo cooker there is a existing product and there is a users we had in our mind that is uh, high rise building uh, users and how could this product uh, this people or this uh, uh, user segment could work because you know they are not even using the solo cooker at all so uh, professor chakravarty has come up with the idea that let's let's have this product redeveloped uh, it was our p2 project that time when i was a student and how this product can be um, uh, you know redeveloped uh, for this this user segment so like uh, we were into like uh, user research and uh, visiting uh, different uh, areas of bombay and thane and luckily we got this user and this is change our complete perception about you know how people are using solo cooker in uh, high rise building or in metro cities so this pictures actually tells you that these guys having a big balcony in his flat in thane area and he was he was using that parabolic solo cooker and uh, you know box type solo cooker heavily i i stayed there i had lunch with them and they told me a nice story there they they were using solo cooker last uh, 15 years and they were they were saving lpgs uh, on on uh, you know uh, because of using solo cooker and the taste was phenomenal i had lunch with them and that change our perception and that change our focus as, as well because then in our mind these users could be every metro city living guy who needed this solo cooker box because how this guy is using the solo cooker uh, everybody could use it and then we are started you know uh, getting behind this idea and how can we develop the uh, solo cooker for this user so basic idea is like you can you can uh, blow up the a glass tube which is having a vacuum in between and you can put the food boxes inside and then you can start cooking this was very basic idea came from uh, you know water heater solar water heater tubes and we thought this could work and we had a basic mock up model ready uh, we just use a bislery bottle cans and you know glass jars for it and it worked it worked we started getting temperature inside and uh, it was Uh, phenomena this this was the final concept which i submitted a solar cooker which is mounted in the window uh, which could, which could have a rectangular interface as well uh, uh, and it was a non non working conceptual design which i made in that time so yeah then uh, started working on you know real product which could work and which could show us a result whether it is working or not the technology is right you have a two layers of glass in between you have a vacuum sun rays coming inside and it's getting heated up uh, you know heat heat traps inside because vacuum is perfect insulation everything is in place every the technology is saying the physics behind it is everything perfect but this prototype is miserably failed like we didn't got any any result in in this and we were shocked that how this is happening because physics is right technology engineering is right and what we where we failed and we not getting any you know result out of it so what we did we just torn apart that first prototype and uh, we just put a reflect, reflector underneath and then here it is like we our first success we we able to bake a cake in it Uh, but in not in bombay but in in uh, my hometown amnagar where the plenty of sunlight uh, available that time so what we discovered here is it's not about uh, you know technology it's not about our perception what we thought initially uh, that engineering could work but there are a lot of things due to this prototype we we learn a lot and then we started developing a different different because obviously glass is very dangerous to mount in the window uh but uh, um, particularly in very high rise buildings in bombay area uh, or any metro cities so we started you uh, know shift our focus to the material uh, where we started using polycarbonate boxes so here you can see a multiple prototypes uh, where we tested uh, this theory whether polycarbonate or uh, or glass which is the best material for our products so this box type this boxes actually gives us a result and we started cooking 
then later on the third prototype we started working on acidic let's say let's say have a poly if you are using a polycarbonate there are different different methods to use the polycarbonate sheet and this is very first handmade products uh, which we made this is for the uh, uh, presentation at rashtrapati bhavan in 2017 i think and uh, we presented this idea everybody loves this idea that how it is going to fit in the window you can you know uh, open open the vents to control the temperature you you can have uh, you know um, uh, interface like a oven microwave oven uh, it, nothing like a traditional solar box type solar cooker so we were happy and we were like going about it and we developed this this uh, prototype which actually uh, you know we used the vacuum forming manufacturing techniques and we made these products and we were every day we were, we were having lunch in this uh, solo cooker we cooked our lunch in the office you you could see in the idc if you if you come uh, you can you know start cooking and use it but what happened there are like we in Delhi, we are having different, different tastings. Uh, we used to cook different cousins, like there are different uh, uh, dal rice, cakes, chicken, non veg, and vegetarian uh, dishes. And we were, uh, you know, it's actually giving the uh, results. Uh, we actually, you know, set up a, a lab, engineering lab. You could see a lot of wires and sensors over there. And we, we are kept, kept on trying. Uh, and uh, innovating on the, the what kind of food boxes will be there, what type of coating will be there, whether adding the mirror and adding the reflector will enhance the you know uh, its its capacity or efficiency. Uh, we hired actually uh, renewable energy uh, students who uh, interns uh, to research on it and how it is working and what physics behind it and how it is. We are actually compared it with the traditional box solo cooker and we are getting very phenomenal results compared to traditional box solo cooker. But one thing here, we are forgetting you, our users. We, we still had that user in our mind that uh, Mr. Chitre, who, who had a big balcony and using his solo cooker, and we thought everybody will, uh, will start you know, buying this solo cooker and use this solo cooker. But we never thought, what is the motivation behind using that solo cooker to Mr. Chitre, actually? And it's not about the technology, if it is working, it is, if it is you know, uh, high efficient and uh, innovative. What is the user perception behind using the solo cooker that we forgot and we kept on, you know, inventing and innovating on, on our product. And we thought we have a brilliant product in our hand. We went into Ahmedabad, there's a food festival. And uh, for our surprise, like in, in Ahmedabad, if you see, there is a, uh, it's a big city, but not like Bombay. There's a very few high rise building, but there are, you know, uh, 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 different different uh, apartments and bungalows over there. So uh, individual houses over there, and people actually using it with because there is uh, um, uh, plenty of sunlight over there, and uh, they liked it. We also presented our solo cooker in Bombay area, but uh, only enthusiastic are approached us and then said they are very happy to see a new kind of solo cooker. But they are suspicious about using solo cooker in Bombay area. They said like, okay, what will we do? So these kind of questions we are getting from Bombay people. But in Ahmedabad, everybody was like wanting solo cooker when it is it will be available in the market. And they were jumping on it. So uh, then we started thinking about like whether uh, this is for uh, high-rise buildings or metro cities or whether this is for tier two cities or where uh, you know people have a terraces and whether they are actually uh, in uh, no, from the initially they are using solo cooker a traditional solo cooker and whether they'll replace this solo cooker with their traditional one so uh, we were wondering and then we started uh, you know professor <laughs> love sarin was there uh, and he uh, we we started idea program and very first question he asked like what is the motivation behind using the solo cooker who will use the solo cooker so basic pitch we wanted to develop and uh, you know notice what he said right the motivation the pitch and what is this pitch you may have heard maybe in the lean startup session by gtc so the pitch thing the value proposition why it is valuable to the user you know when we think about that many times the common mistake that we do is it's fast or it's economical, or the design is good. But if I get a fast car, maybe you know, a Ferrari or whatever, and I have to drive 
from where I live in Palawa to Pawai, where I have to go for office, and I get stuck at Shilfata for two hours, what's that fastness going to give me? What is the benefit I am really getting out of it? So unless we know what benefit the customer is looking for, on this drive, I'm not looking for a fast car. There is no way I can drive fast. My current car cannot drive to its full potential, right? What I'm looking for is maybe comfort, that I have to sit for two hours in the traffic. Can I be comfortable there, right? So the benefit is what is the most important thing. Some features may be there for one customer to give them one benefit. Some features may give another benefit to another customer segment. So different customer segments may want different benefits. You know, quickly, I'll take an example, a pen. A pen for a student serves very different benefit than a pen for a CEO who is meeting with, you know, Prince of Qatar to sign an MOU in front of press, right? So they need very different pen and different features to deliver that benefit that they need, you know, to either just do a writing or to actually show off and all that. So, Avinash, yeah, please go ahead. So these, these base, basic questions we started asking our users. We started meeting, you know, uh, rural area uh, users. We started uh, meeting here to cities uh, users. So That's here right. we we decided we finalized the pitch and we decided like going with the semi-urban and rural areas where actual people are concerned with the uh, you know fuel uh, cooking fuel. And uh, we started uh, asking these questions to the users. Uh, we are not directly asking them, uh, do you know solo cooker or will you use the solo cooker or uh, have you have you used the solo cooker? The basic questions behind uh, should be as like uh, what they uh, you know use for the cooking, uh, what are the options they have, what they cook, uh, how is the daily life they are going, uh, uh, you know, the day-to-day life, uh, why they buy the solo cooker, why, what is the motivation behind it, what is the problem they are trying to solve. So these questions we started asking and we get only one answer that cooking fuel cost is rising. That is the very basic motivation behind it. If there is any other option to them which can save their LPG gas uh, cost, that would be phenomenal. That they would like to try and uh, work it out because we can't directly replace the LPG stove because it's, it's very convenient. Uh, especially uh, people who live in metro cities and uh, tier two cities, uh, those are going on uh, day by day using the LPG. It is very convenient. You can, you know, anytime you can uh, start cooking, uh, you can cook anything on it. So it's it's definitely not replacing the solo cooker, which we had. But if we started using half of our cooking time uh, on the L solar cooker, because they have plenty of sunlight in, uh, you know, available, uh, they definitely save their LPG cost uh, up to 40 to 50 percent, and they, they can recover their cost uh, within three years of the solo cooker. So that we started using, and what what customers needs actually we are satisfying. So that is also the very big questions we started asking, and to our surprise, we actually started focusing shift our focus to rural areas and uh, tier two cities and middle class and lower middle class uh, income group. Uh, who is actually concerned about the LPG cost raising. So you can see the low income group in rural areas who actually doesn't have uh, any fuel, uh, cooking fuel options uh, for them, uh, which is like, you know, to collect the woods or to collect this uh, rural area uh, persona, if you see, they used to go you know, 15 to 20 kilometers away in the jungle to collect the woods. And it was like a hectic uh, task uh, to the woman, uh, it actually task of a woman who uh, she she used to go get up early in the morning or like doing all the chores in the in the day. But for this particular task, they have to spend like three to four hours uh, in in the jungle. That is very uh, dangerous. Uh, in the other hand, in the in the middle income group, you can see they using the LPG call LPG stoves. But they are also concerned and alarmed about the LPG cost, uh, raising LPG cost. So these these groups actually motivated, and they are looking for uh, you know option for LPG or cooking fuel. So then, what channels we we want would like to go ahead? Like it's like we wanted to find channels who uh, uh, 
through whom we can reach our customers. So there are different different customer segments which we talked in uh, last slide. It is in rural area we have to go in direct and direct distributions and sales. There are PC Vigyan Kendras in all over in talukas. So each talukas PC Vigyan Kendra. So this PC Vigyan Kendra is the center of all the farmers and rural areas people. Uh, used to go uh, we can, can they train them for uh, different different you know uh, uh, new tech and uh, employing uh, employable technology what they can use and you know get employed for it so uh, dissipation of new technology through krishi vigyan kendra could be a, a good uh, start point for us government india government of india have a different scheme and renew for renewable energies uh, through the, those scheme we can distribute the solar cooker that we are looking into and different institutes and ngos working in rural uh, rural development uh, renewable energy and sustainable technology that could be a good start for us and we we are actually you know contacted at different uh, 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 points where people are already using the solar cooker or known about the solar cooker or Uh, they are into the field of solar cooking and sustainable uh, cooking, or they are like eco-friendly and sustainable groups who are uh, uh, into uh, kind of uh, solar energy development uh, areas. So uh, one of is uh, Jimmy Meglin Center in Indore. Uh, they actually distributed uh, uh, different types of solar cooker around Indore. areas and different rural areas and people are using the solar cooker and they they get benefited of solar cooking uh, technology uh, in gujarat uh, al zubair uh, one of the guy who started uh, distributing the solar cooker uh, which can hardly made uh, in 100 rupees which a paper uh, reflector paper model uh, they he used to go into rural areas meeting uh, you know all these women and uh, you know training them on uh, developing the solar cooker so we also contacted uh, this guy and uh, we are looking forward to like you know uh, collaborate with him and uh, going to the user get to know them uh, why they will use the solar cooker how they are going to uh, already using the solar cooker what kind of food they are cooking on the solar cooker so this kind of different inputs we will we'll get from this oroville is also one of the uh, great center uh for for the start there are people who are heavily engaging in sustainable and renewable energy uh, uh product development so these kind of channels we are going to look into it so how will we get and keep going the solo cook customer so as we said uh we uh, we are get into exhibitions food festivals as usual like like last two years lockdowns is happening but as the lockdowns is open the food festival will start and then we'll uh, keep attending the food festival and keep going giving the demos for for uh, in this uh, exhibitions solar cooking recipes uh, we will we already develop a uh, you know uh, 15 to 20 uh, recipes for the solar cooking in house uh, we actually hired uh, 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 chefs uh for for this uh, solo cooker and they develop like uh, uh, 15 recipes for different different uh, cuisines and uh, cooking show like khana ka khana khazana with the sanjeev kapoor or any other celebrity chef uh, could be a good start where he can present the solo cooker and uh, you know show a, a particular recipe made in the solo cooker in sunlight that would be great uh, uh, yeah Uh, social media is definitely also reaching in the rural areas people are watching and uh, the uh, you know network is available in uh, rural areas they are into different different uh, social media and definitely this is also a good start for for here to cities it, it will be good uh, connecting with mahila mandals at rural areas and uh, mahila grow with the uh where they can you know dry pulses and dry uh, medicinal plants and all uh this could be also a good start and good users for us and uh, they could also give us a, a good start and good uh, consumer this thing so revenue model we are still figuring out how our revenue models will be but there definitely a government subsidies for uh this kind of uh, eco friendly products uh, particularly in solar so uh, in bulk order distributors and organizations in social schemes uh, for the initial stage before going to a direct sell into the product uh, we will will we'll find the re revenue model for for this yeah the in fact uh, you know uh, sarin you could actually you know throw a little bit more light on these channels and user yeah. aspects and so i am going to ask avinash are these 
a starting set of assumptions or are these final right now? These are all assumptions we are trying and uh, studying right now. All right. So now you tell me, how will customer discovery or lean startup apply here? I'll add to it. Mm -hmm. you, but, you know, what, what would you do to validate, verify these assumptions? So very first assumption is like food festivals and exhibitions and all that we tested and that we tried already. So second one is like, uh, you know, uh, cookery shows and all, uh, showing cookery shows uh, on the TV. How will you find that? A channel, through a channel, uh, media channel who who is, uh, you know, having these cookery shows and what actually people would like to see in the cooking show. All right. So I'll, I'll add there. So solar cooking demos. Okay. You did some testing, which is very good. No? So. Mm -hmm. This is all lean startup model, right? So if you can, then you act. You, your mm. bias should always be towards action rather than sourcing and researching many reports and keep analyzing, keep building models and you know, killing it to death. Don't do that. Focus on action. Try to get mm -hmm. data. Try to get real data. Try mm -hmm. to get insights from that data from... Mm -hmm your real interactions. You see, you got to interact with people. You also need to start to monitor it. Mm. To know how well are you doing. If you make a change next time, mm -hmm. improve the conversion. Does it improve the conversation time, the people right. or more people stop if you change the layout of your you know, cooking stall or, uh -huh. or whatever, right? Or if you use a different recipe. Right, right. Would it make more people stop and ask? Keep monitoring. Some metric has to be there. How much conversion is happening? And then as we improve the experiment, as we refine our method, as we refine our process, we know whether we are actually moving towards the goal or away from the goal. The goal is to get more and more customers as efficiently as possible. Cooking recipes, whether people watch the shows, mm -hmm. you may find it very hard to find that data from channels and from the shows unless you are really networked. And even they may or may not have a very nice distribution of what's the persona of these people. They may just have a number that, okay, this is the viewership. But what is the persona? Who is watching, who is not watching? So first, we need to define as entrepreneur who is it that we are targeting. And then as you go and start your customer discovery, this is the data that you can collect. You can ask from them. You can collect that data. How many shows they watched? When was the last time mm. they watched? How did it influence them? When was the last time they cooked something that they watched on a show? When was the last time they bought something that was used by Sanjeev Kapoor in his kitchen? Yeah. So evidence means real behavior, real action. Yes. Similarly, social media, very important. Right? Mm. To promote their product on social media. But does my user spend enough time on that social media, they only get time on weekends, then my ads should only run on weekends. These in, you know, insights will only come when we actually go and talk to people and try to understand them as life is happening in their day. So this is an example of someone who wants to market to someone you know, who goes to coffee shops, who is a coffee consumer. These are all the details that they may note down or mm. think about or they may try to build in the persona. Because then it gives us knowledge on who to target, how to target, where to target, what matters to them, which brands we can co-promote with, you know, what are their motivators, so what words will capture their attention. So everything, right? Right. How much of this is about the product? Very, very less. So this is we need to keep in mind. I think that's mostly it. That's the crux. So, for example, right now, um, Avinash talked about the low-income group and rural households and all, right? There may be another persona. And the pitch, if I have to just pitch, I just wrote it down to give an alternate example that there can be different customer segments with very different needs. So one persona, for example, I picked is maybe young professionals who are health conscious. 
right? So my pitch for that would be just an example. Young professionals who have started to see the signs of lifestyle diseases are always looking for options to have healthy meals, preferably home cooked for themselves, their kids, and their parents, and have become increasingly hygiene conscious, especially especially in the COVID era. Right? Mm. So now our solar cooker provides a healthy meal with more nutrition, an assumption that needs to be tested. I am assuming right now that it retains more nutrition because of less burning or whatever. Mm -hmm. right? Less oil, home cooked without supervision, so you don't need time to watch it over. Mm. Avoids waiting for the meal to be cooked when you get home because it is already ready to be served. And to top it all, it saves more than 50% of your LPG expense as you can cook majority of your meals through this. Right? So different, different, you know, value propositions, health, home cooked, mm. into kids' needs and parents' needs and all that is getting combined here. Uh, Sarin, I think uh, you gave this very good, uh, you know, uh, uh, example of the oven itself with a different uh, persona in mind. Uh, and, uh, uh, we, you know, like our students now have come up with a problem statement. We wanted them to just get into the pitching aspect. So they would uh, come up with the problem statement and with your right questions, we will see how they will pitch it. Because because whatever said, Nan, we've been hearing a lot, but till you don't get over there and modify it, it was not happening. So we, we need your help there.